Hi there, it's uh, Rich again. Um, in this video, we're looking at some um, computational fluid dynamics testing that I carried out on the uh, main flight chamber of the olfactometer. So you can see the video, it's orientated with the two inlets at the back. I've removed the uh, mosquito um, trap sections and the mosquito delivery se section at the other end. Um, so this is just to see what happens with the airflow as it goes through the um, the main flight chamber. So the calculations are based on um, an overall wind speed of 0.2 meters per second through the main flight chamber. Um, and so I'm interested to see um, if the air be behaves in a real similar way. You know, at the end of the day, I'm an entomologist. I'm not. Um, an engineer or someone that's well versed in fluid dynamics and so this has been quite interesting to have a look at. Um, some of this would be really obvious if this is your field um, but for some like me this is quite novel and certainly very interesting. Um, the, this section of the video is um, accelerated time wise because the computer that was running it on is a little bit slow. Um, so this is rocketing through and so you can see the graphs start off really really um, um, chaotic and then things become more linear over time as we run through the iterations of the testing. What is interesting is when you look at the velocity scale on the left hand side there's some really high numbers there, far higher numbers than um, a mosquito is going to be able to fly through. Um, so this was quite an eye opener for me because um, it was the calculation was always I'm going to be a little bit high for the inlet and so I was prepared to bring the, the airspeed down as it comes through the actual main unit but I was surprised by how high it actually is, it really is, it really is quite a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Um, and then this section that we're actually looking at now, um, these are the particle traces. Um, so these give us more of an idea um, of where uh, where the airflow is going to be concentrated and you can see that there's a large section in front of the two choice chambers um, on the left hand side of the screen where the airflow is again into the, 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 the sort of cyan colours, the pale bluey greens um, which is going to be too fast um, I think for the mosquitoes to actually get into those chambers with the airflows as they are so um, this is certainly causing a little bit of head scratching, deciding how low we can take this airflow before um, the air effectively stands still in the main chamber um, and whether we need to have a rethink.